Today's wheat farmers know that fungicide application can help boost yields when diseases such as rust and scab threaten to affect the wheat crop. During the Kansas Wheat District meetings held throughout Kansas in February, Greg Hudek, Territory Manager with Bayer Crop Science, pointed out that before application of fungicide occurs, farmers must know whether rust is a significant threat to their wheat crop. Hudek says stripe and leaf rusts, two of the major threats to wheat in Kansas, typically blow in from Oklahoma and Texas. If those two states are suffering from fungal diseases, chances are good that Kansas also will suffer. Farmers must understand whether the wheat varieties they have planted, however, are resistant to those diseases. You know, when we think about major yield robbers, uh, you know, a fungicide doesn't uh, increase your yield, it just saves your yields. And historically, our major robbers that we've had throughout the whole state of Kansas, east to west, can be one of the rust complex. You know, there is some issues with uh, head scab in central Kansas, uh, but it really doesn't play that much in western Kansas. So those, the rust complex is probably the wider spread of all the diseases and probably the more consistent disease that we contend with. Most of our fungicide applications in general, the majority are going to go around flag leaf to head emergence, somewhere near uh, up to flowering. You know, if you're after scab, you're going to have to be spraying during the flowering process. If I had to pick one stage for most foliar diseases, excluding head scab, I'd say boot would be a great time to be spraying a fungicide. And if you did spray at boot, you would probably be in good shape with all your pre-harvest intervals with all the products. Hudek says wheat producers have a choice of fungicide classifications to choose from. Triazoles cure, eradicate, and prevent fungal diseases, while strobilurins prevent diseases only and have good residual properties. Strobilurins must be applied earlier than triazoles in order to prevent the disease from infecting the crop. There are several combination triazole strobilurin products on the market too, according to Hudek. Regardless of the chemistry classification, farmers must be aware of the product's pre-harvest interval as defined on the product label. Some Kansas farmers ignored the pre-harvest interval in 2008, causing a temporary embargo of harvested wheat from thousands of acres. Fungicide products on the market today have varying pre-harvest intervals. Hudek says a fungicide application on wheat can be a useful tool to ensure optimum wheat yields. Farmers, however, need to be hands-on managers to ensure success. He reiterates the importance of knowing wheat variety weaknesses and observing disease pressures that come from the south through crop scouting. No-till farmers planting wheat into wheat stubble can benefit greatly from a fungicide application, which should reduce the potential of yield-robbing tan spot and powdery mildew. You're better off to spray too early than too late. Uh, once the disease is on that leaf and infected the leaf and killed some tissue, you're not bringing that back. So if you want to side to one side, spray too early and not too late. Uh, if you've lost too much yield potential if you wait a week too long. So if you're going to spray, be on the early side, not on the late side.